let's go. <gasps> it's so hot. Hey everybody, it's Crazy Fangirl Shimey. Uh, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Um, it's more Shimey than Crazy Fangirl actually, so um, hi, if you don't know me, my name is Shimey uh, and I am the Crazy Fangirl of Crazy Fangirl Reviews. Today we're basically doing sort of like an update video, end of year video. It was inspired by like the update video I did earlier this year, if you haven't checked it out should be over here somewhere. So I wanted to do two separate videos for the end of year. So basically an update video and also my highlight normal compilation video. So that'll be out a little bit later. So we are going to just review the ya, um, everything to do with Moi and everything to do with the channel obviously. So telling you guys about my ya and I guess if anything has gotten any better. <laughs> so let's jump into Moi. So obviously going off that other video that I did, um, just to summarize it if you haven't seen it or don't want to go watch it, basically um, I explained in that video that honestly for the last couple of years I was very depressed, um, very down and just very much in my hermit phase <laughs> and I just wasn't feeling great. I wasn't happy, um, I felt very uninspired, um, even when I graduated earlier this year and even then I just was like, oh, like... Well that's that, what do I do now? <laughs> How do I adult? That's the question. <laughs> it took a while to sort of really accept that because I guess I was just so deep in denial about it that it wasn't healthy at all and just I realized how badly I was treating myself. I was very, um, what's the word? Self-deprecating and just not confident in myself when I should have been. Um, so it was just not a great start to the year. Then came in my gorgeous amazing sister um, who really dedicated some time into helping me refined myself and really helped me on the right path. She helped me get into therapy, um, which took a bit of convincing, but we did that. And then we got into finding a job, which I was actually successful at. I think being able to get that therapy and also getting that job really helped sort of refocus my life and find a lot of purpose in different areas of my life. YouTube, don't get me wrong, it's one of my favorite things to do. It's so much fun, so great, but there was nothing really coming from it. Like, I was so grateful for the community, and still am, for the community I have, but there was nothing else, so I was just, I was just feeling like, where else can I go with getting this new job really helped as well to sort of find the purpose coming from that, but then also being able to put the creativity into my YouTube channel when I could. And therapy, of course, helped in th ways that therapy can only help. <laughs> so yeah, that really, really, really helped and re made me reevaluate life in a very different way. It made me appreciate the people that I had who were supportive and loving towards me but also made me rethink a lot of friendships that I did have and I did have to let a few people go unfortunately just because I felt like I was being held back by a few people. I won't name names but I felt like I was being held back unfortunately and I just needed to break free of it. Um, I felt like I was just being held back from doing more and even just Felt like I was like playing to their tune in a way, some people. So I was just like, you know what? I gotta let that go. I've gotta move forward. I can't just stay in this toxic sort of position. I just gotta let it all go and I gotta move forward. And that was also another thing. I was able to find a beautiful group of friends at, in my workplace. I already have a beautiful group of friends as you guys see on my channel all the time with my compilation videos. They are such beautiful people, but I was able to from this new experience find more people. I guess I'm a bit proud of myself because I'm not good with people. <laughs> I'm not good at making friends. I don't know how I have friends, but just I, 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 ugh. I am very grateful for the people who are in my life and grateful that they put up with me and stick around. I'm being self-deprecating, but you know, that's, I guess that's something that I'm still working on, but I don't know how I got so lucky, honestly. So I'm very blessed for the people who are in my life. But yeah, going into this new job, Oh my god. I had a lot of respect for customer service officers before, but being someone who works in it, oh my god. It went tenfold after that. For retail, people on the phones, hospitality, all people who work in like customer service stuff. Guys, oh my god. What a year it's been. <laughs> it was a lot. Um, <laughs> working with people is not easy, um, especially on the phones. Like, the amount of abuse, racism, and just things that I've heard is just crazy. But it was a good lesson because it taught me to have tough skin. I will say as well though, I did get what is called a secondment, which is basically like, uh, is I, I would say it's just sort of like an apprenticeship. So basically you get put into another department and you get to help them for like a month or so. So basically I was working in complaints. Yeah, that was just so incredibly fun and interesting. I know people will be like, 
why is it fun working in complaints? It actually is, honestly. I don't know. I like investigation and solving a problem and trying to help someone as much as possible. So, I don't know. This job really spoke to me <laughs> when I did it. There was an opening a couple of weeks ago um, for a permanent job in this position. And I sort of went and then... I got the job, which is really fun. So basically I've been moved into a new department and we'll be starting in the new year, which is nice because it basically is like a bookend to the end of the year. I really wanted to push myself because this year has been a lot of pushing out of my comfort zone, um, learning new people, which has been, I won't lie, has been uncomfortable for me just because I'm not good with talking with people. Um, I'm good with a camera. I can talk to a camera. I can talk on stream, but talking to people, I'm like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it like doing that really I'm really proud of myself in terms of a lot of the hurdles I've had to go through but yeah there was a lot of things I achieved on my own um in terms of again my work um, and even just like trying new things so basically like I pushed myself to do things a lot on my own so basically I went and saw Hamilton the musical on my own just out on my own which is something I don't really do um <laughs> you because I'm again hermit face and then I don't know just there are things that I've wanted to do on my own, so I just would go and do it. And it feels nice to have been able to do that. I even flew on my own, um, which was really scary, but also exhilarating because I was just like, oh my God, this is a new experience. And I got to meet all my friends, which is nice. If you guys saw that on Twitter, I'll put a photo here of these beautiful people. But yeah, we all hung out in Brisbane, which was really, really fun um, and had a really great time. And just, yeah, I'm really proud of myself for doing that because I, I think like if you told me that la like last year, like me last year in hermit phase, deep in hermit phase, that I would do that, I'd be like, yeah, hell no, you're you you dumb you lying <laughs> but yeah i feel like there have been some achievements that i'm really really proud of this year um and i just hope that i can make a few more in 2023 so let's let's hope <laughs> now for the channel <laughs> we obviously started the year off with boba fett did moon knight vox machina and then my announcement came that i got my job and that honestly changed everything there are some things i do wish i did better with my channel this is the one thing that became self-deprecating about in terms of my channel just because i wasn't doing it as much as i used to um so like i would miss a lot of the videos that came out early morning and then by the time i came home it would be so late either way that i'd i'd have to go straight to bed i'm so glad though with this new job i know that i'm gonna have a little bit more time i guess um and not flexible hours but just better time and hours than what i did with what i was doing in the call center so i'm very excited for 2023 and hope that i can do a better job in terms of releasing more um, content because there are so many things that I wish I had reacted to like I wish I reacted to for example the Wakanda Forever trailer some other things as well like different movies that I didn't review or I've reviewed them on Twitter but just not on my channel and it just feels like I didn't do enough so I feel like I didn't do enough for you guys because again this you guys are crazy and got me to 800 subscribers like what like you guys are crazy and even with the small amount of content I was releasing you still have all been phenomenal so I really, I mean this from like the bottom of my heart. Thank you guys so, so much for the incredible support you guys give me constantly. It means so much to me. Again, like this channel, I started this channel just for fun because I like reacting to things. I love like all sorts of media, video games, TV shows, movies. <laughs> um, and just to see that there are so many people who like my content or even just like react with me is so nice and just... It makes me really happy so again thank you guys so 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 much for all the support you guys give me constantly it means the world it really honestly surprises me because every time i have like a video come out or like i i do like a project and i release it and you guys surprise me every time because I just don't expect it. And even like this, when I streamed, I haven't streamed all year. Well, that's a lie. I streamed earlier in the year. Um, but even then, like it doesn't compare to how you guys came and showed up for God of War Ragnarok. I understand that obviously it's a new game. People want to see it, but still like people coming to watch my stream. Like I don't fathom that. <laughs> to me, I stream just for fun because I think it's fun and I like sharing the experience. Same with me releasing videos. Um, I just felt like it would be better than just me trying to like make the videos that I've done in the past. So for example, I've done those like compilation videos, which I will do for God of War Ragnarok in due time. Cause those took hours to make. Like you, cause you guys know I don't have a PC, I have a laptop. So I literally would like record with this mic 
have the audio from the other from the game also and then just have to layer everything on top perfectly to make sure it all sounded right like the hours it took to make the last of us and all those other reactions i've done so much time <laughs> and again i just did it for fun i didn't expect anybody to show up and yet you guys showed up i appreciate you guys so much for that and putting out with me crying and jump scaring and everything like thank you so 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 much i am honestly again i'm so grateful like i cannot stop saying that i want to thank especially michael oh you guys all know michael if you guys are familiar with the channel if not michael's basically like my manager <laughs> he pushes me to do better in what i do and pushes me to not focus on the numbers um and focus on the content more than anything so thank you michael love ya i also want to thank my incredible friends um mitch troy M's Nikki Britt. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for being such just incredible friends. These are all the friends that I got to meet. Um, Michael, unfortunately not because he lives across the world, very far away. <laughs> but all the Aussies, like you guys are just so incredible. You guys are the best like thank you guys so much for your friendship and for the crazy nights that we've had playing GTA and all the other games that we've ever played. I adore you guys and I love you guys and just yeah, you guys are amazing. But for 2023, I'm hoping to do more content because again, this job isn't like not flexible, but it's a lot easier to be able to just jump off work and come back into doing this like camera work. So I am excited to try and do more reactions and reviews. I also want to play Hogwarts Legacy. Um, what else is coming out? Spider-Man, obviously. Um, and there's some other stuff that I do want to react to. So, oh yeah, Last of Us. Um, Vox Machina season two. Um, what else? Um, there's some. Oh yeah, Mandalorian. Oh my god, Jesus. <laughs> um, and there's some other stuff coming out as well that we need to react to. So, next is gonna be big as well for media. So I'm excited. Yeah, it's been crazy, guys. Um, I think I'm gonna leave it here just because we have been talking for a while. Um, and I don't want to get too crazy. But again, thank you to everybody, my family, my friends, and. Again, you amazing community. Thank you so much for all the support you guys have given me this year. I love you guys. I will try and do my best to be better in 2023. And let's just keep enjoying content. Please remember to be kind and love one another because that's the most important thing. And also remember that the compilation video will be out soon with all the video game highlights and reaction highlights. So just keep an eye out for that. But for now, I will just say thank you so much and I love you all so much. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I nearly forgot. Crazy Mango out. Woo!